Dr. Salman, can you tell us a bit about your approach to treatment for someone with higher risk disease? So higher risk disease patients typically will have very severe low blood counts and they often will have an increased percentage of these blasts which again are on the spectrum of acute myeloid leukemia. And so really what has become the standard of care therapy are our hypomethylating agents and specifically azacitidine. Um, and this is because there was a, a trial in the past which was uh, compared to other conventional therapies at the time and it was shown to both improve the survival of these patients and decrease their risk of leukemia. And so really our strategy is relatively right away to start them on uh, azacitidine therapy, again with the goal of improving uh, symptoms, uh, uh, decreasing the risk of leukemia, getting them into remission um, uh, is our major focus at that time. Perhaps uh, can you comment about the role of uh, allogeneic stem cell transplant? Sure. The only curative treatment we have uh, for patients with MDS is allogeneic bone marrow transplantation. And in general, for higher risk MDS patients, uh, when we start hypomethylating agents such as azacitidine, our goal is to get them in remission. But really from that standpoint, if we feel that they are healthy enough, functional enough, do not have other severe medical problems, we actually start the referral process or start the evaluation for transplant right away. Because this process uh, in general takes at least three months of time. And so we want to be ready if we get a good response and, in pa and the patient wants to go forward with transplant, uh, we want to be ready when, when that, that time comes. But we um, are definitely in favor of a discussion from the very beginning of treatment. Very good. Now we mentioned hypomethylating agents and you specifically addressed azacitidine. Is there a role for the sister drug decitabine for specific circumstances to treat MDS? Decitabine is also a, a very good uh, agent with overall similar response rates uh, to azacitidine. Um, it did not improve overall survival in a randomized trial, although overall the outcomes are somewhat similar. Uh, there are two settings that I at least think about decitabine. Sometimes if patient's renal function is not normal, we do think about using decitabine as it's not cleared by the kidneys and potentially may be a safer drug. Um, the other setting that we think about is uh, patients that have very complex karyotype or a high risk uh, uh, MDS that we call TP53 mutant. We do sometimes think about using a decitabine schedule as it may improve uh, response rates.